This is the easy way to change the inverter cooling water pump for a 2006 second generation Toyota Prius. Other people are saying, oh, you got to take out the inverter, you know, right there or move it aside. And you got to work in this tiny space here next to the fuse panel, fuse and relay panel, but it's still very cramped. Getting to the clamps, I've seen videos of guys struggling with that. This is my way, the easiest way. You take out a bolt here for the front bumper and a couple underneath the front lip. Pull this, this out. Remove one bolt here behind the bumper cover for the lower headlight bracket. Bolt, there's one here for the headlight. And then one up here by the front of the front edge of the fender. That's it, three bolts. You can pull the headlight out. Now you have full access to the water pump. You could easily get your pliers in there to remove these clamps. Clamp off the hoses so that you don't lose any fluid. Okay. Take out these three bolts to the bracket, replace the pump, put the hoses back on, you're done. Well, I mean, you got to put the headlight and the bumper back on, but it's just a few uh, bolts that use a 10 millimeter wrench. This is a 10 millimeter size wrench, is all you need. Even for the pump here, 10 millimeter wrench. And that's about it. That's my easy way. And with this method, I think it takes less than a half hour. Uh, we got this pump from the junkyard for a really good price, really cheap. But if you need to, you can find them on eBay for 50 bucks or Amazon. Uh, that's my advice on that. Um, What you also, if you want to troubleshoot and see if there's power, you should have 14 bolts at this electrical plug when the key is in the on position. That's about it. If you have 14 bolts here and then the pump's still not running, when the key's in the on position, then you know the pump's burned out.